Morena Koto, welcome to Wellington, to Whanganui Atara, and welcome to the climate change field trip. You're here at Victoria University, and it's a blustery old day in the capital today. And right now, let's go inside because we're going to catch up with a couple of climate change scientists. Follow me. Wow, it's good to get out of that southerly. A fierce wind, and speaking of the weather, we're here with climate scientists. Professor James Renwick. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Great to be with you. Hey, look, it's great to have you here because, as you know, we're doing the climate change field trip, James. And I guess we've got to start right at the beginning and ask you, what is climate change? The climate's changing because the Earth is warming up. So what's happening is the Earth is warmed by sunlight. You know, the sun shines and it warms the planet. So the Earth has to lose some heat to compensate, just like we have to lose heat from our bodies when we get hot. And so that's what the Earth does. But there are gases in the air, in the atmosphere, what we call greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. They soak up that heat that the Earth's losing and send some of it back down to warm the Earth up more. It's just like having a blanket on your bed. If you put a blanket over your body, you'll be kept warmer underneath that blanket. You put a second blanket on, a thicker blanket, and you'll be even warmer again. And that's what's happening with climate change. The blanket of air on the Earth is getting thicker. There's more of these gases, carbon dioxide and all of these greenhouse gases. They're soaking up more and more heat and sending more and more of it back down to the Earth. And that's warming the whole planet up. So James, where are all these greenhouse gases coming from? Most of the, these gases that we're putting into the air is coming from burning what are called fossil fuels. That's oil coal, gas, and they're called fossil fuels because they literally are fossils from plants that grew hundreds of millions of years ago. They died out and sank into the earth and through geological time they got turned into these things like coal and oil. And a couple of hundred years ago people discovered you could dig these things up and burn them and that released all the carbon dioxide that was used to form the plants in the first place. So it's like not only are forests burning today, but we're digging up old forests and burning those as well and putting all the gas from the fires back into the air. Well, thanks, James. I know it's a massive topic, but we're looking forward to finding out more about climate change, uh, how it's affecting weather patterns and all elements related to the weather and the potential impacts it might have on us as a country and as a planet. Thanks very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, thanks for coming in.